Hello and welcome. In this video I am going to create a simple form. Uh, it's not going to do a whole lot, but it's the same form that I use to demonstrate a lot of functions, so I figured there might be some interest in seeing you know, what I'm doing exactly and why I'm doing it. So I'm going to start at the very start here. I'm using uh, Visual Studio Express 2012. You might be using 2010. It's not a whole lot different. I'm going to click on New Project. I'm writing Visual Basic, so Visual Basic. I'm creating a Windows Form application. I click OK. Of course, I didn't name it. I probably should have if you wanted to give your project a name, but mine's not going to do much. So I didn't name it, but I probably should have. This is my environment. I've set it up this way. You probably should have yours configured something like this. I have another video on that. Anyways, here's my form. On my form, I'm going to place a button. All right, this is an event-driven form, and the event that's going to make things happen on this form is a click on that button. Every element should have a name. So I'm going to name that button BTN Click. It's a pretty terrible name. Uh, also notice that the text on the button is button one, which is not appropriate for anything. I usually write on the button whatever the button's name is, so button click. To make this a full example, I'm going to put a uh, text box on the form. A text box should always be named by you. Text box one doesn't work for anyone, so just don't do it. Instead, use txt, and since it's going to be my output, that's a funny way of spelling output, but uh, I'm going to call it text output. Also, from a usability standpoint, there's no reason you shouldn't put a label above your button or your, or your text box as well. Button certainly doesn't need a label because it says click. Pretty clear what you're supposed to do with it, but it's not clear what this text box represents. Um, I guess it's my output. So, my label says output. Now I've got a form which doesn't do much, but at least you can see what's going on with it. So what am I going to do with this? Not a whole lot. What I am going to do is I'm going to double click on the button. In other words, I'm going to define the click event for that button. Notice the class is already here. I've got this sub with nothing in it. I like to press enter there. Okay. Uh, this was all generated for me. And so I'm just going to do something very simple in here. Let's uh, display a value to that text box. The text box was called text output. Notice that IntelliSense, or autocomplete for what everyone else would probably call it, uh, applied, right? It's so I know that I'm addressing the text box correctly. I'll just put something in there, like hello world, right? I really probably should call this video hello world because this is kind of what a hello world program would be like in uh, Visual Basic. So I'm going to start debugging, so I click that and wait a second and I click this button here right and that's the event and it says hello world so you could use this for a variety of things it's not a particularly functional program but it does illustrate the concept of output and uh, events and really what I'm gonna use this form for in the long run is to illustrate some functions and we'll examine what some of those do so thanks for watching